Welcome to another spotlight video we have here today, another spotlight episode. Today we will be talking about choices and consequences. Now for a man, this is pretty simple and straightforward. The choices you make can have consequences later on down the line. However, a large portion of the population, 50% of the population, in fact, do not understand this mentality. They think that choices are just things to be made and tossed aside and there are no repercussions. There are no consequences to those actions. I don't know about you ladies, but whenever I walk past a couple, I do not make eye contact with the male. If anything, I'll look at the girl and I'll give her a little smile, but most of the time I just stare straight ahead and keep walking. And you know what I realize? Out of the side of my eye every single time, it's always your boyfriend who's looking at me. And so let me tell you something. If your boyfriend is walking behind you in public and he's not holding your hand, it's because he's checking out every single girl that's either walking towards you or past you. And I think that's incredibly disrespectful because I have walked past couples, especially old couples, where the guy is so obviously in love with his woman that he just like doesn't even know I'm there. And I like that. I don't want to be perceived by your boyfriend because if you as a male have a woman and you're still giving me attention, giving me lustful looks, meanwhile, you don't know me. I'm not in your relationship. I'm literally just a random stranger walking by on the sidewalk. This or here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the f up. Exactly. You are a random stranger walking by on the sidewalk. So what, what is the deal here? These women think that a lot of these men are staring at them, looking at them or whatever the situation might be. Nobody's looking at you. Nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about anything uh, that you have. And actually, to be honest, you have to coat your face with hundreds of dollars worth of makeup and random products just so you feel good about yourself. Just so you feel like you're presentable walking out in public. But you're going to sit there and you're going to berate men online for looking in your direction. Nobody's looking at you. You have nothing these men want. You are about as probably red flagged low value as you can get. Any woman that... And look, gentlemen, if you're starting to date a woman or if you're starting to be interested in someone, make sure you get all of their social media. Make sure that these women are not posting their makeup videos. Uh, make sure these women are not talking into their phone, their iPhone, their camera, posting videos online about random stuff. You don't want a woman like this in your life. All she's going to do is listen to other people online talk about random stuff and those people will convince her that Anything and that everything is wrong in a relationship and anything and everything is right in, in the world. And then that's not reality. That is not reality. If, if you can just look back 20 years, let's go back 25 years ago before the entire world was instantly connected by videos and, and text messages. You know what I mean? That there wasn't such an instantaneous connection that you have with random strangers online that have no idea about your situation. These women are giving advice on situations that they have no idea what's going on. Now let's read up here where it says, stop dating lustful males who can't control their gaze. Just because someone looks in your direction doesn't mean they're lustful. And just because they're looking in your direction doesn't mean these men are or that, that you placate to the, the male gaze is what they call it. Well, whenever a woman has certain assets, it means that they're placating to the male gaze. That's not how this works. But, but uh, also a lot of women think that a BBL is what men want. A lot of women think that men want these big uh, implants that you, uh, you can't do anything with. You, you really can't even touch them because they're hard. Nobody wants any of that stuff. You know, a large majority of men would rather a natural woman that has all of her natural assets and just how she is than with a woman that has a lot of surgeries, a lot of injections, a lot of implants, a lot of fillers, a lot of Botox, a lot of, men do not want this. And the men that you're going to attract with all this stuff isn't going to be the kind of man you want. That is just the reality. So she's saying that a lot of these men are in these, I'm guessing older men are in these long-term relationships and they're looking in her direction. So nobody's looking at you. Nobody cares about you. 
these women think that they are the main character in everyone's story, and they're not. They're absolutely nothing to these men. And actually, there's a lot of time, and this is something women do not understand, and any man watching this video will understand. Sometimes, and I know I do this all the time, is I will be looking in a direction and just nothing is going on. I am just zoned out. Just thinking about something, it might not be anything in particular, and I am just in the zone. You can get nothing. But God forbid you do this around a woman and she'll accuse you of uh, looking at her nipples or something. It's weird. You know, and all we can do is pray for, but still, it's, this is real shit walking by on the sidewalk the same sidewalk that you and your woman are walking on then you're disgusting you're lustful you don't know how to control your urges and honestly you should be single because it's very obvious that the woman that you're with is not enough for you and you're making her feel bad by very openly and obviously checking out other women who are walking past you while you're with her in public it's even worse if you're holding her hand and then you do one of these Girl, I'm tired of your boyfriend gaslighting you into thinking that it's normal for him to be checking out other women while he's with you. A male who wants you in his life should not have eyes for any other women, on or offline. And if that's simply not the case, then don't try to change him, don't try to control him. Change who you're with, or be single, because honestly, most of them are like that. Most of them are not worth being in public with because it's embarrassing. All they're going to do is check out other women while they're with you and make you feel like you're in competition with these fantasies that he has in his mind based on these women that he sees walking around him. I see. It's interesting. It's an interesting, interesting uh, phenomenon is what it is. That's a damn phenomenon. So we're going to play that card then, right? We're going to play that card. So let's go ahead and play that card because she's saying that uh, his wife, his girlfriend is in competition with men and uh, with other women that are in his head. But aren't men nowadays in competition with every other man that a woman has shared a bed with? Isn't that competition as well? But we're not going to say anything about that, right? We're not going to say anything about that. You can't be in competition with something that doesn't exist. And previously <laughs> she had said, that if you're with a man that checks out another woman, you need to break up with him and find a man who won't, or you need to just be single because every man is like this. The only type of woman that talks like this is a woman that has made bad decisions in their life and has only gravitated towards certain types of men, certain types of men that are players. They are the ladies, man. They check women out. They have no problem looking at other women when they are with uh, the woman that they're supposed to be with for the night. See, these men have no problem doing that. And then all of a sudden, this woman has a problem whenever men are looking around her. Nobody's looking at you for one thing, and you're trying to control what a man does. I don't think that's going to work well for you. This video just makes you seem very desperate for attention because this is a non-issue for everyone. Nobody's looking at you. And you need to go back to wherever you bought this makeup. This makeup is not your shade. It's scary. This is just, you need to find a shade that is closer to your match than it. This isn't working for you. This is something else. Good looking guys all the time in relationships with girls. But when I walk past them, I do not make eye contact out of respect for the girl. So no if he looks cares. at me, he's the problem. Get rid of him. Even worse, girl, if you're married to this male and you've already had his kids. There's nothing I hate more than a dad checking me out. Worry about your children. Stop looking at me and if your wife is not there or the mother of your children is not there, act like she is. Have some consideration Delusion. for her. I want y'all ladies to know that these males, Delusion. when they take the kids to the park, are sitting there checking me out. And I'm not the only one. I go to the park to hang out by myself, to smoke some weed, to clear my mind, to make a TikTok, to do whatever. And there's always other single girls there. And it's always the dads with the children and the dog acting like they're being such a good parent, sitting there going like this. Or holding their, their toddler's hand and looking down and then looking up at me. I don't want to be a part of this relationship. I don't want you to perceive me. Stop looking at me. It's really not that hard to have that level of self-control where you don't make eye contact with women who you are not in relationships with. Add respect for the women that you're walking with in public. It's not that hard. 
It's really not that hard. So if he's gaslighting you and telling you, oh, this is just my nature, I'm just a man, I wasn't even looking, it was only for half a second, shh, cut him off. He's done. Surely this is all for me. Me? Me, 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 I, I. I'm, I'm so fucking important. No one's done here. Um, I think we know what the root of the problem is. We have a woman who is crippling with several different forms of addiction right now. She's obviously have has a social media problem. And now we have found out that she likes to go to public parks and partake in other activities in those parks. Now, if you were, if I was in this park with this woman and I seen uh, someone light that up, I would definitely be looking at them because that is not okay to do around kids. Uh, you should be probably doing that in the privacy of your own home or maybe at a facility that you can do that in. I, I don't think being at a park with a bunch of kids and, and people is a, is a place where you need to be getting inebriated. <laughs> I just don't really think that's a good idea. I think that is the real root of the issue here is that she is soaking the devil's lettuce all of the time. She probably smells like Cheech and Chong's asshole. And then she's wondering why men are turning their heads looking at her. Well, they're probably getting a whiff of what you smell like and uh, making sure that you're not Snoop Dogg in disguise is, is probably what they're doing. This is a little bit more of the delusion that we have all spoke about that I've shown you many, many times on this channel where women will create these scenarios in their head and then they will just run with it. This woman thinks that just because a man looks at her, that man is now, what, in a relationship with her or something? I, I have no idea what this woman is talking about. It is a rambling delusion of a mad person. You know, back in the 50s and 60s, if someone started talking like this, they would be locked up. You know, it wasn't too long ago where if you did any of that stuff, you would also be locked up. You would be locked up for a while. I don't know if you guys know this, but whenever you partake and stuff like that, you can get psychosis. Uh, it is a real thing. And then you start to make videos like this. I think she is deep into the, uh, into the hands of some sort of green psychosis that is polluting her mind because this is not a sane opinion. This is not a sane opinion. And the fact that she thinks that it's perfectly valid for her to say stuff like this is wild to me. She wants men to not look at her. Well, then don't go out in public. Stay home and talk into your phone. Here is the reality of everything that's going on in this clip is that she doesn't want men to look at her while she's out in public. Well, then just don't go out in public. People are going to look at you when you're out in public. I don't know what to tell you. Are they checking you out? I doubt it. You really don't have anything men want. So um, I'm not sure why you think that all these men are checking you out there. They don't care. And this is the same type of woman that will complain about men, quote unquote, checking her out, looking her up and down, all this stuff. But then uh, whenever she's in the gym, she's going to be checking out Chad on the on the leg machine with his uh, huge ass, uh, his gorilla thighs. Oh, but that's OK for her to check him out. But uh, nobody can look in her direction. Um Especially if they're in a relationship, they shouldn't be looking at her. Well, what if he's single? Oh, that's okay then? This is just the dumbest take I have seen in a very long time. But let me know what you guys think. That is going to be the end of today's video. Comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Rat Boy out.